Now Fairfield homeowners are breathing a sigh of relief after quickly evacuating from these flames that came real close to homes. Cal Fire calling this the Mountain Meadow Fire and says it has burned at least 60 acres now under control. Abe Stens Van 2 is joining us now live along the fire line tonight. Van. Well, Madison, the fire has slowed down tremendously, but you can see behind me many, many hot spots remain. We're here on Cordelia Road, which is expected to be closed for several hours. Here at the fire line, where the scorched earth meets the roadway, down there you can see uh, the smoke coming up and I want to show you up here as well where the gentle breeze is sending embers raining down here on the ground. Now luckily no injuries to report and no homes were damaged so many neighbors here breathing a sigh of relief. The sight of roaring black smoke pushed neighbors into action with garden hoses and water buckets. The Bahal family met a raging grass fire outside their kitchen window. I'm scared out of my mind. And so first fear, first thought was fear. Gusty winds accelerated flames across the hilltops near Pittman and Cordelia Roads, southwest of Fairfield, forcing evacuations of several dozen nearby homes and businesses around 5 p.m. Fighting the blaze from the air and on the ground, Cal Fire and local crews rushed to the area to stop the threat to homes pushed up against dry vegetation. Everything else that was all dead just burnt like this. They say these hills have caught fire before, but they've never seen it burn this quickly. And it seemed like it was just popping, like something was snapping every time it was burning. And then as he walked around the corner, you could see the flames are just shooting up in the air, and they was pretty high there. In the midst of a busy fire season, families here are breathing a sigh of relief, knowing it could have been worse. It's hot. It's summertime. Fourth of July, and the people that are using fireworks aren't happening or helping. We don't know if that's what caused this, but obviously there's been a lot of fires due to the fireworks. So too soon to know the cause of this fire, but authorities taking the opportunity again to remind people not to light fireworks. In fact, just a moment ago, we heard fireworks in the distance, really a dangerous thing to do in fire prone California. Absolutely, Van. It is really that time of year where people need to take caution when it comes to lighting fireworks and fires creeping close.